What is up, guys? Welcome to another Behind the Curve Reacts. Uh, as always, if you enjoy what I'm doing here on the channel, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And uh, consider supporting us on Patreon. Uh, i got some cool bonus footage up there. You can take part in polls, kind of help us decide what to react to next. And for just five bucks, I'll just go ahead and react to whatever you want. And speaking of that, uh, it's actually what we've got today. Uh, one of my newest awesome $5 patrons, a wonderful lady named Deb, would really like for me to watch and react to this live studio performance of this gentleman named Frank Turner. I did a little bit of Google research. He is, I want to say, like a, like a folk kind of artist from somewhere in England, like the UK or something like that. Uh, but here he's going to be performing at this studio in New Zealand, which is very cool. Uh, you know, a bit of a world traveler there. Uh, but I'm excited. Uh, like I said, it kind of seemed a little folky from just the little thumbnails I saw on YouTube. Not necessarily bad. And I'm just a huge fan of talent. If you are a fan of this channel for a while, you know that it doesn't really matter what the genre is. As long as you are talented, I will love it. So yeah, uh, thanks again, Deb. And let's go ahead and get into it. Hi, my name's Frank Turner. I'm here in Auckland at Roundhead Studios. We're on tour here, and uh, we've just done a live session for you all, uh, me and my band, The Sleeping Souls. This song's called I Still Believe. Uh, it's a song about rock and roll and what it means to me. Uh, it was inspired directly by the first tour I ever did in China, where I did an illegal punk rock tour in China and played to a bunch of Chinese people who were so excited about music generally that it sort of shamed me into rethinking how I felt about rock and roll. As, a, as an idea, and I wanted to write a song about that. So uh, it's, yeah, it's a love song to, to music. This song's called I Still Believe. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, friends and Romans, countrymen. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, punks and skins and Johnny men. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, my sisters and my brethren, the time is coming near. I like the piano. It's a cool little uh, like addition.
beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful. This song is called Recovery. It's the first single from the new album, Take Deck Heart. Uh, it's a song, uh, it's a true story sort of song about uh, falling over and trying to stand up again. Um, and yeah, it goes something like this. Blacking in and out in a strange flat in East London Somebody I don't really know just gave me something to help settle me down To stop me from always thinking about you And you know your life is heading in a questionable direction When you're up for days with strangers and you can't remember anything Except the way you sound and when you told me you didn't know what I should do Suggestion that you'd have me if I could only make me better Then I would stand a little stronger as I walk a little taller All the time Because I know you are a cynic But I think I can convince you yet Cause broken people can get better if they really want to At least that's what I have to tell myself if I am hoping to So I Was really powerful <clears throat> this guy is good this guy's pretty good so this far this song's called the way i tend to be um it's a song about uh missing somebody i suppose it's a song about getting drunk in airport bars um and about making bad decisions in sydney airport at one o'clock in the morning once upon a time uh yeah so here it is well the mandolin Days are hard away. Wait for rain to come. Cause it turns out how. 
catching your scent on someone else in a crowded space and it takes me somewhere I could not quite place and then I was really sad that was a really sad song <laughs> oh what the fuck i really like this guy so far um he kind of runs the gamut um well lyrically he runs the gamut um so far in this show <sighs> that was a really sad one that was just unfortunate um clearly clearly the man's got some demons um but yeah no let's see what else we've got the central London called the Astoria, which is kind of where I grew up, going to going to shows, going to see punk bands and that kind of thing. And uh, and they closed it down and turned it into a into a railway station a few years ago. Uh, so yes, this song's called Polaroid Picture. Man, we used to be brothers, superheroes and warriors, cowboys and Indians, train drivers, everything rolling through. And the summers, but everything changes. Got married, my children, and I don't have your number. The one I can remember is the place you used to live with your parents. But in the stillness of the moment, it takes on the
take a Polaroid picture and keep it with you forever to remind yourself that everything changes. But there was this one time, there was this one time when things were okay. This is an old song. This song's called mm -hmm. The Road. It's a song about traveling. Uh, and about keeping moving and gathering no moss and all that kind of thing. And uh, for the music video, the original music video for this song, I played 24 gigs in 24 hours, which is one of the most murderous things I've ever done in my life. And I never ever want to do it again, but it's a fun song. So here it is. The Dude, how is that possible? 24 different venues in 24 east, hours. To the east, with the road beneath my feet, to the west, to the west, but I haven't got there yet, and to the north, to the north. Time is running out Ever since my child That was my favorite song so far of this whole thing. Uh, that had everything. I love the little instrumental breakdown, too, halfway through it, because 
from what I've been hearing so far, he's definitely more of like a lyric driven um, uh, kind of uh, performer uh, versus instrumentation, which is awesome, which is great. Uh, but it was really kind of refreshing just to, to hear that nice, awesome breakdown there. Um, and that one line really uh, stuck in my head. What the hell was it? Um, it's like, uh, uh, when you stay in one place, you've given up on the chase. Um, I don't know why, but that really really struck a chord with me. Oh, I wish I could travel. Oh, Corona. Hmm. All right. Yeah, that, so far, number one song. Oh, my God. That was wonderful. This song's called Cowboy Chords. Uh, it's a song that was written for the new album, Tape Deck Heart, but which didn't quite make the album proper, it's on the deluxe version. Picking which tracks go where was agonizing. Uh, I wrote this song very in about 20 minutes on a tour bus somewhere in Germany. Um, and uh, this particular arrangement features Matt Nazir on the mandolin as well. I'm a sucker for the mandolin. That time I know my trade And that I know how to care for my guitar And I know how to get a play I'm comfortable when I sleep on the floor I played a fair few shows I'm gonna play more All along the while I was just trying to raise a smile I play cowboy Air condition words about longing for the prairie and living in the suburbs. I sing simple songs about nights and wrongs, about finding that trail that leads away from everyone. Kept your picture by my side it was in my wallet, it was on my mind And every song I know Contains a whisper of your soul I play cowboy chords With these air-conditioned words About longing for the prairie And living in the suburbs Sing simple songs about nights and wrongs, about finding that trail that leads away from everyone. trade out on these boards with cowboy chords I know my trade out on these boards with cowboy chords God, the mandolin is such a pretty instrument. <laughs> wow! Wow, that guy's got some skills. Um, damn, let's let us let us uh, let's go big here and uh, unpack and uh, <laughs> unpack what we just saw. Wow, Frank 
Turner. Um, so I'm not going to lie, I got a little bit of a Mumford and Sons uh, vocal kind of vibe from him. Obviously, there was no banjo or anything like that. Um, but man, those guys, that guy's lyrics were awesome. Those were very, very powerful lyrics. And I got to say, I absolutely loved the drummer. The rhythm section, oh, he was great. He brought those songs like to life. Obviously, Frank did with, you know, the lyrics and the, uh, and the guitar, but the drums are so important, uh, especially in a band kind of like that, uh, that kind of driving force in the more upbeat songs, like the first couple and then the, uh, the one about the road, um, the one that I really, really, really liked. Um, but yeah, that guy, that was really good. That guy was really good and very different to the things that I normally listen to. Um, and it was cool that this, can uh, this concert kind of like ran the gamut in terms of they weren't all songs that sounded the exact same, which is really cool. Uh, so I always worry about listening to a new artist, you know, what I've never heard before. I'm like, oh, you know, that first song was good, but are they all going to sound the exact same and then get tired after a while? And he didn't, which was really, really, really cool and really, um, really refreshing. But yeah, that guy, I'm definitely going to have to uh, to listen to more of his stuff. Uh, has he has he been around for a while? Has he done like a lot of stuff? Um, please, you know, let me know down in the comments because I would definitely be interested in checking out um, a few more of his stuff. Um, I, his slower stuff, it was really good. Um, it's not quite my kind of music. I like kind of not necessarily faster music, but music that's kind of got more, uh, more pace to it, maybe a little bit more upbeat, uh, if that makes sense to you. Um, but that being said, even the slow, sad ones, like the one about the, uh, kind of losing, uh, losing the girl was slow and was really, really sad, um, uh, but was still really good. So I don't know. I'm conflicted, but I, I loved it. That was really good. Uh, if you guys really liked it, let me know. Let me know what your favorites were, uh, down in the comments and yeah, I will see you, uh, in the next reaction. Thank you so much for coming out.